Hello. How's it going? Hope you're doing good. I hope you're well. As I'm sure you can probably tell. Well, you definitely can. This evidently where I am is not our house. We've come to London for a couple of days to celebrate Zoe's birthday, which is tomorrow. And yeah, we've just arrived literally 20 minutes ago or so. Just finished unpacking most of our bits. You might recognize this room because Zoe and I stayed here before. Kind of like, how would you describe it? It was like a baby moon kind of thing. It was like it was prior moon, yeah. to having Ottie. It was when Zoe was pregnant. And we came here and stayed at the Langham Hotel in London and just had the most amazing trip ever. And now we're back. So if you've watched since then, you probably would have already seen this hotel room. If you haven't watched and you're new to watching or you just missed that video, I'm gonna give you a really quick whip around tour now. The lovely team at the Langham have given us this stay for free. They've gifted this stay for two nights to celebrate Zoe's birthday. I have never ever stayed in a hotel room like this anywhere else let alone right in like the center of london it's just ridiculous let me let me give you a little whip around i feel like we need to start at the door for it to be like a typical old school room tour kind of thing so we walk through here this room is called the infinity room you'll see in a second because of the bar this is like the main space are you trying to sneak more chocolates <laughs> i think you are this lounge is just the most beautiful lounge i have ever seen in a London property. Like I don't think you can get a more ridiculous room in London than this. Well, I say London, not even London, just in general. It's like the most unbelievable room. And they've put the nicest little touches, like this is a picture of Zoe. Stood here last time we were here, whilst pregnant with Otty. This yeah. time though, we've got Bluey on the TV. In my arms. <laughs> and this one's robbing up all the chocolate. Sneaky. Nice? <laughs> right, coming through. Um, coming through here. This is our bedroom. Absolutely insane. Like, this is just the size of a whole flat. I mean, it's like two of our it's bedrooms ridiculous. combined at home. Oh, this is probably like three of our bedrooms. Yeah. And then this is everything the room is about. This bath is called an infinity bath, <laughs> which Otty is so excited for. Yeah, she can't wait to get in here. Thank you, Daddy. That's alright. Are you excited to get in later? Bath, Earlier on, she Dad said, what are these through. holes for? I said, bubbles come out of there. And she said, what are these for? And I said, those are lights because you can change the colour of the water. And then all of the water flows over the bath on purpose and back in and it pumps around. So it's like... Bath. It's like a continual... Like a, yeah, like an infinity swimming pool of a bath. I feel like bathrooms are always like my favourite part of a hotel. This is something about a bathroom. I don't think we're going to be able to get her out. No. Call me if you need some help getting out. Over here, we've got like a walk-in wardrobe that we didn't use last time and I don't think we're going to need to use this time. Oh, they've already put our coach in there for us. Oh, lovely. Maybe we are using it. No, we Yeah? Oh, yeah. You need some help. <laughs> How long right, was then. that? Like 20 seconds? Yeah. Oh, there's two toilets. No, no, they're not two toilets. Yes. And what do you do with that? With my bum. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> Can you show everyone your room? Go. So last time we stayed here, this door was actually locked off because obviously we didn't need two rooms because it was just Zoe and I. Oh, there's a little toilet in there as well. So this we never actually saw open. But this time they've opened it up for us, obviously with the girls. And they've made it just the cutest room. Otty, look at this they've made for you. And look at this. I think this is the thing that Otty is the most excited about. It's the car. The it's just I sleep in the movies and the my bed! Which bed are you going to sleep in? This one. This one? Or this one? You could sleep in this one if you wanted to. Or this one. I'm sleeping in that one. And look, they've even got little like pillowcases. I think they're little blankets. Oh! Little blankets and So cute. It's this oh, maybe the... not a blanket. Yeah. They're so good at all like the fine little details here. Okay, the last clip that I filmed was showing you around the room and that was probably like, what, three hours ago? 
mm-hmm. no more, four hours ago. Otty and I headed down to the pool and went for a swim. Do you mind passing me that? Which obviously I didn't film because... Oh, that looks fancy. There was a bunch of other people in the pool, so I didn't want to film everybody. We had a great time, the pool here is so lovely. And then we came back, hung out, Otty had some dinner. Had a bath? You and Otty had a bath together. And then now we've just ordered some room service. I think that is the biggest steak I've ever had in my life. There is no way you'll finish that. I just saw it, oh, there's no chance. I just saw it on the menu and I was like, whilst we're here, I feel like it would be rude not to do a steak because I know that it's just gonna be so good. What are you more excited for? Oops. Dinner here tonight mm-hmm. or breakfast tomorrow morning? Breakfast. Because the breakfast menu looks <laughs> looks like another I level. such a like breakfast. Gal. I think I'm going to have to, oh I'm not know. even in focus, we were saying earlier how weird it is that last time we were here in this room, you were pregnant with Otty, mm-hmm. Novi wasn't even a thing. Crazy, and that doesn't even That's... feel that long ago, to be honest. But I don't know what we would have done, like I almost want to watch about the video because we, I'm like... We wouldn't have done much different, I would have still had a bath, Yeah, we would I think have got, we both got in a bath. early, we would have got room service, like not, you wouldn't have gone down to the pool. Probably wouldn't have gone down to the pool, maybe we would have got a massage. The gym looked amazing. Yeah, yeah. probably would have got a massage. Mm. I mean, we still could. One would have to stay with both of them. Mm-hmm. But so far, I don't think we've done anything that differently. Mm-mm. It's not like when we came to London, we would like... <laughs> Go out. <laughs> yeah. Go out in the town. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I'm going to put the camera away and enjoy dinner. So he's trying to get a little shot of the sun poking out, but it's just gone. I missed it, and that would probably be the sun for the day, wouldn't it? That one bit of sun on my birthday. Eating <laughs> your breakfast? Where did you do it? Here. Hi. Wow. Strawberry, did you see it at the bottom? You going to do some talking? <laughs> what do you want to say? <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Should we do that? <laughs> yeah? Oh, she just said. Yeah. And there's macarons. Whoa, that is a lot of macarons. Oh, yeah. I want to take a picture. Oh. You can do fire macarons. Of course. And two, it's very good today. It is really good today, isn't it? Do you know why it's a good day? Because mm-hmm. it's mummy's birthday. Oh, you're putting it all in one. You go for it. What do we think? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? Are they... Oh, look at you over there, Miss Smiley Girl. Look at you over here. Look at your sister, Run, run, run. Here she comes. It has been near on three weeks, I want to say since the footage that you've just seen of Zoe and I in London. I feel like I've just blinked and the time has gone. I've just been editing up the footage on my laptop now. And I'll say it again, I know I feel like I've just said it a bunch of times in the video already, but we just had such a lovely time. Like it was so nice. 
So nice to just be in London fully relaxing, obviously celebrating Zoe's birthday. The hotel was lovely. Being there with the girls as well was a bunch of fun. Just had a good time. But it's, oh man, it's so weird. I feel like I'm gonna describe what I'm feeling badly, but I just wanna give it a go because I'm feeling it a lot at the moment. And I don't know if other parents will be able to relate with me or whether it's just me feeling this. But I wanted to talk about it in the vlog because I spoke about it a couple of weeks ago when Zoe and I filmed, I'm pointing over there because that's where we were sat. We were sat over there filming the first video back this year on my channel and I mentioned it like, I think, I feel like I mentioned it lightly, but I've just been feeling this feeling a bunch recently and I can't shake it. I don't think I'm gonna shake it. I think it's just, I think it's not a bad thing that it's there. I feel like in life, everybody has their own thing or a couple of things that throughout growing up, they're constantly dreaming of, whether that's a particular job or career, a particular car maybe, or a house, or a style of house, or moving to a different country, or starting a family, or their wedding that they're like picturing always having. Whatever it is, I feel like everybody's got that one thing or those couple of things that is like ingrained deep in them. And I feel like life is almost like building up to be able to hopefully have those moments. And for me, that moment has always been one thing and one thing only, and it's to have children, but particularly, I've just always loved like playing with kids and chatting with kids between the ages of two and three. There's just something about that kind of like young toddler age of like super fun, crazy wild imagination. I've just always loved it. And that for me has always just been like the dream. It's always been the thing that I would just, I've always been so excited to one day have. And I've always thought about that ever since I was young. Like I've always wanted to be a dad and I've always wanted to be like a fun dad and adventurous. And I think it's probably because I just had such a lovely childhood and upbringing myself. I was so fortunate to have that. And I want to like recreate that for my own kids. But the weird thing about this and the feeling that I just can't like shake is I'm living that dream moment now. Like right now, I'm so lucky, so fortunate to be able to live the dream moment. That moment that I've just described that we all think of, that we all dream of, that hopefully one day we achieve. I'm so fortunate that I've achieved that moment for me, which is having Otti and Novi, but particularly Otti's current age, is just so fun and she's just so enjoyable to be around and it's just like the craziest, funnest little girl. But because of that, and because it's the moment that I've always dreamed of, it feels like whenever I think about it, it always feels so, I don't know how to describe it, so like, not scary is not the right word, but like, I'll say scary for now, but it's not the right word. I haven't thought about how to describe it properly, but scary that that moment is now. Like I'm living that, the dream, I'm living it right now. And once Otty grows, I don't know, a couple of years older, then Novi will be that two and a half, three years old kind of age. And then when she's old, if we do only have two kids, that obviously we're gonna have a lot of amazing up moments, of course, but that like dream moment is gone. Like it's now, I'm living it right now. And yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely loving it. Like I honestly, I couldn't be lapping out more if I tried. I'm working so little compared to what I've worked over the years on purpose so that I can spend as much time with the family as possible. And I'm so fortunate to be able to do that. Like so fortunate to be able to do that. And the same with Zoe as well that we just get to spend so much time as a family. Yeah, it does just, I don't know. It does just feel weird that that moment is happening now. And I catch myself sometimes, I'll be like, like literally early on, I was like rolling out about on the floor, playing with Novi and like singing this little songs to her. And then my phone pinged and then I went on my phone and then I scrolled on an Instagram for probably like 10 minutes or so. And then I'm like, no, what am I doing? Like, I don't want to be scrolling. I want to be enjoying this moment while I'm on my phone. But then obviously it's not realistic. I can't just be like soaking up the moment constantly all day, every single day. Like I, I'm going to do other things as well. Now is the time. Now is the moment you've always wanted. Enjoy it. Soak it up. 
capture it, remember it. Like, I feel like there's so much pressure on myself to enjoy the now, because now is the moment I've always dreamt of. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm not saying this in a bad way, by the way. I'm saying this in like, I'm so bloody fortunate. I'm so lucky. But equally, it does scare the shit out of me that the moment is now. But I feel like I'm soaking up as much as I can. I feel like I am. I don't know. I don't know. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say, and I'm not just rambling on and everyone's watching this like, cool. What is he even chatting about? It makes sense to me. Maybe you might be a parent out there and you're feeling the same. Let me know I'm not alone in the comments. Um, right, before I end off the video, as I do every single video, I'm gonna answer a question that somebody left in the comments of my previous video. So if you've got a question that you'd like me to answer, anything at all, there is no right, there is no wrong, drop it down below in the comments and I will answer one next week. This week, the question that I've picked is, I've got it on my laptop down here, what is your favorite thing about you? I thought that was a great question. I don't think I've answered this before. What is my favorite thing about myself? Probably should have thought about this before filming, rather than thinking of it on the spot like I am now. I'm gonna go with that I constantly try and encourage others around me to step out of their comfort zone. Whether that's Ottie and just like trying to encourage her to be adventurous and do things and not be too afraid. Whether that's getting Zoe involved in things that I know that she wouldn't tend to do by herself slash would even think about doing and then she ends up really enjoying them. Or like my family, like at the moment, I've just persuaded my dad to do the uh, a, a tough mother coming up soon with me. He's had double knee replacements. He definitely would not be signing up to a Tough Mudder by himself, but I'm like encouraging him to do it. And I, I think it's gonna happen. I think so. Everybody watching these videos over the years just to like try new things, work on their future selves, better themselves, step out of their comfort zone. I feel like, yeah, that's probably, I don't think that's the favorite thing about myself, but I definitely feel like that's one of my, my favorite things about myself. I try, try and just get everybody around me to elevate themselves in whatever way that is right for them. I just try and encourage people to like do that extra little bit, give that extra little push. Try that, try that thing that they've never tried before and just see if they enjoy it. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments. I'd love it if you took a second to comment down below saying what your favorite thing about yourself is. Again, there was no right, there was no wrong. I'd love to read the comments. Please just take a second to, to do that. Your favorite thing about yourself, even if you don't comment it down below and you don't feel comfortable to do that, just have a little think. I feel like that's a nice little, a nice little exercise to do. Think about, think about yourself in that positive way. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to go down below. Give it a thumbs up, takes a second. I feel like this video was such like a mix of like, lovely London trip, and now me just sitting down, rambling. But if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, if you're not already, takes only a second. I never ever tell you to, but I'd love it if you did. Press the little notification bell. There's a little bell down there somewhere that if you press it every time I post a new video, it will like ping your phone or I don't know, it'll notify you in some way. Press that little button as well. Hope you're having a lovely day, whatever you're up to. I'll catch you soon with another new video. I appreciate you watching.